Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but weather helps, Caesar. Yeah. Weather yeah. helps. The weather helps, and of course, when you mention free, if it's food, drinks, it makes it even better out there. But unfortunately, we're also getting some free smoke in, the, in our skies, and you'll notice here in Westminster, very brilliant orange sunrise still going on, and that's what we continue to deal with, especially as we look here at our fire and smoke map. Still seeing plenty of that Canadian wildfire smoke making its way in, and even some thicker plumes still hanging over top of parts of the Great Lakes. Luckily, we shouldn't see a lot of that overall thicker smoke making its way towards us, but it does impact our air quality, so we do have a code orange day already set for a lot of the states. So keep that in mind. If you're in following one of the sensitive groups, such as having asthma, some of the respiratory issues, just make sure you don't do too much physical activity outside as that could end up really exacerbating all of those symptoms. But overall temperatures pretty warm out there, kicking off into the upper 50s and low to mid 60s for a few areas. You'll notice that as we do increase in some cloud cover, temperatures will also increase for us as well. We'll get up to around 88 degrees by about 2 p.m. Even by 4 p.m., 88. I wouldn't be surprised if we hit 90 in the Inner Harbor with all of that sunshine and warmth really making its way in. A lot of mid to upper 80s, even some 90s on the board for parts of Frederick. So we are going to get quite warm out there. Make sure to stay hydrated as you continue enjoying Juneteenth and just this beautiful Monday out there. Also, even though we will see some cloud cover starting to build in, we are going to have that cold orange day for us as air quality is still expected to be not on the great side. But then as we head in towards tonight, you'll notice that temperatures will hang around those 60s and even getting close to 70 degrees closer towards the bay. So kicking off our Tuesday on a warm note, but it starts to also pick up in humidity. So while most of the activity for today will stay closer towards Frederick and even parts closer towards the DC Metro, we start to see some rain showers for ourselves going into parts of Tuesday. Very light and quick as we start to see dry air take over once again. And then as we head in towards Wednesday, we'll have more of that easterly, almost northeast wind that brings in some cooler air off of the Atlantic. And, and I, what, by what I mean with cooler air, not necessarily cold, but we'll see that temperature drop back down towards the 70s and actually stay a little bit on the humid side. But we start to warm back up as we close out the work week and start to see some rain chances also increase for us. So what does that mean exactly in our seven day forecast? Well, you'll notice that temperatures hang around the 70s by the time we get towards the middle of the week after starting off the week on a warm note. And you'll notice that Friday, yes, 83 degrees, but we'll see a chance for some scattered thunder showers out there, and that'll actually blend into parts of the weekend for us. All right, thank you so much, Caesar. Well, you're taking a live look